Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream King by Carla. Virgo, this is your reading for the week of June 28th through July 4th. No songs this week, guys. Oh, Virgo, there's a lot of chatter. Um... It's almost like you're getting a headache from people gossiping. I, I, I don't feel like so much like about you. I feel like they're gossiping around you. But like this could be like at work or something like that. And you're just kind of like, can, can you find something else to talk about? Um, that's pretty much like um, energetically like what I'm picking up. Look at that in my ear. Um, because it definitely feels like you're, you're annoyed with, um, people. Huh. You're annoyed with, like, the gossiping or people, like, just, you're just annoyed, to be honest with you. Um, you're, you're trying to, to focus your 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 time and your energy like on your goals and things like that and it just seems like there are a lot of people around you um that are still stuck in the he said she said type of um energy and whew, you're trying to figure out a way to like remove yourself from it or it, it's almost like you're being shown who like people's true colors in order to allow you to move away from certain people in order to allow you to to walk away from certain situation so this week definitely does look like a a energy of a lot of endings um when it comes to um, hanging out with colleagues when it comes to friends um, I'm not picking to any it's not so much about like relationship or stuff or anything like that but I am picking up a, a lot of like just your surrounding um, for some of you this could be that you are looking to relocate moving to a different state or I'm um, looking to move into a different like to a different town or a different state there there's something about your surroundings where you're being guided that you have outgrown the space that you're in um and it, it doesn't necessarily i'm not saying that making a move or moving is going to change your life drastically because i feel that where you are now at the moment you have evolved and grown so much that your energy just doesn't mix well or doesn't mix let's put it this way with those that are around you so that's where the the moving comes into play i don't know if that makes sense very well sorry guys i'm like i'm losing my voice <clears throat> Um, with that being said, love does want to come up now, right? Um, for the majority of you, this is somebody from the past, somebody that um had you in a third party situation or um was indecisive between you and another person and they decided to go with the other person and now it's like they're they're coming back around there is this forgive me i'm sorry this type of begging energy etc um For some of you, this is somebody that maybe you have kids with and maybe you're thinking about giving this person another chance because of the kids. I, I don't know. It's just, it, it, 
it's like their energy is there but again this in itself may be the energy that's annoying you because I don't see you Virgo being excited or being happy about this person coming back, back around about this person wanting to work things out with you I, I do feel that you're you're kind of open to maybe being friends with this person but when it comes to love when it comes to opening up to that again I I just feel like you're just kind of like first some of you like first of all like you guys are going to be shocked it's almost like your jaw is going to drop with whatever this person is going to come and say and how they're going to come and apologize to you but it's just not enough it's like it's almost as energy it's like a little too late like this person is coming in to apologize a little too late to you and you some of you have already moved on in the sense like you're there there is something that is new here like this is kind of like the, the flirtatious like dating type of energy so you could already be talking to somebody and an ex is trying to come back after they had you in a position where you were a choice where you were an option and they decided to go with someone else i hope that makes sense so it, it, it's almost like i feel like this person in itself showing back up um it's an it, it's an it's, it's annoying to you like why it's almost like you're kind of like asking them like why are you even bothering like like it's done like you know what's done is done like that type of energy so here we have the love call so i think this is definitely from that person from the past it says someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know and then we have not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego e ego and jealousy so again i feel like this person reaches out and you're just like we have the heart broken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning um i feel like you you went through through your stages of um you know of like healing from this relationship from this connection and it's like right when you feel ready enough let's put it this way to to move forward or to see what else is out there this person from from your past wants to come back and you're just like i'm done you're like literally like just done to be honest with you that's kind of weird because a lot of the other signs had love like messages here and there um but their main readings or their main focus wasn't about love where yours is it, it is a little bit more guided towards love because i feel like this if it's not gossiping at work and stuff like that it's like this person coming back towards you is what is annoying so we have the high priest we have the four of wands and then we have the ten of cups the knight of wands and the reverse the king of swords and then we have the seven of cups so yeah so you're i feel like when you're, you're finally in this space right where where you're feeling when you feel where where you're feeling stable where you're feeling like you know things are finally going my way things are finally like you know i met somebody i'm talking to somebody you know not sure where it's gonna go but i i like the vibe i like the energy etc and then here comes this freaking king of swords energy that this person like no i want you back like i want to fix this i want to be with you i'm sorry i made a mistake and it's like it, it almost feels like the 
We have the Two of Swords. Like the never ending story, right? We have Karma and then we have the Page of Pentacles, right? So, so we have here with the karma somebody is getting dealt right exactly what what they gave you right um and it's not necessarily coming from you i feel that the person that they left you for the person that they decided to move forward with is the person that that hurt them and they paid their karma and you know they're they're still paying for it in the sense that now they're trying to come back to you but you have already moved on and i, and I don't feel to be honest with you virgo that this has anything to do with you trying to get back at them i feel like you're genuinely done with the situation you're genuinely just dissatisfied with with this person we have here the three of wands the page of swords and then we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse so you're you're definitely in the space where you're not going to give back to this you're not you're not caving you're not you're not giving back you're not getting back with this person regardless of whatever they say we do have the sun we have the two of cups and then we have the ten of swords in the reverse so someone here definitely wants to put the past um Somebody wants forgiveness here for what it is, for the pain that they caused. Somebody wants, um, wants another chance. And you're like, I forgive you, but I'm not taking you back. So there's definitely, a, with this Ten of Swords in the reverse, um, I'm picking up like this, this, this completion, this, this energy of like, there's just no going back. There's no going back. We have the Queen of Swords, the Temperance, and the Knight, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. There was a lot of instability. There was a lot of questioning yourself. There was a lot of doubt. There was a lot of insecurity when it came to this connection. When it came to... like, It's almost like you didn't know where you stood when it came to this person. We have the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and then the Ace of Pentacles. So in order for you to see, in order for you to, to see change in your life, in order for you to regain that confidence, that uh, to, to regain your life back, unfortunately, as harsh as it may sound, this person hurting you the way that they did was, was the best thing that could have happened to you at the moment because it, it forced you into a space where you became your priority again, where you stopped living your life for someone else and started to live your life for you, which is what has allowed you to, to attract, to attract, excuse me, the person that you are currently um, talking to you. I do feel like this person that you're talking to at the moment, it is something new, something fresh, um, something exciting. There, There is like this little bit of fear that I am picking up of like not wanting to get hurt again. Um, you're, you're trying your best not to, to put blinders on, right? So you're you're not ignoring red flags if they come up but you're also not searching for them is what i'm um is what i'm picking up so here we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path free yourself it is time to take control of your life which is definitely what you have been doing, right? Again, with this religious factor, when it says um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path, believe it or not, the, the person from the past hurting you the way that they did, did something that pushed you to dive deeper in within yourself, right? 
and with free yourself it, it's almost like as painful as it was and as much pain as the the person from your past caused it definitely allow you to free yourself from them and you know ex express your love I keep on saying that this is the person from the past that is trying to to come in. Um, let your friends help and flirt. So again, whatever it is um, that is that you're starting with somebody, I feel that it is. Um, Excuse me. We have wedding and release your ex. So let your friends help and flirt. Express your love. There, there's definitely here, uh, you know, this this new this new romantic interest. This new um, this new relationship, right? It, but it it feels very light. It feels like it's at a at the beginning stages, right? But we do have the wedding, so it, it definitely has the potential to become something more. It definitely has the potential to, to become something long term. But release your ex, right? So it, the question here is, what are you going to do when this ex comes back? Because I feel that mentally and emotionally, you're ready to say no, but... Are you going to follow through with that when this person actually comes knocking on your door? Or are you going to cave? There's, there's definitely a sense here of needing to just... Bye-bye to the ex and move forward with someone new over. Well, that is all that I have for you for this week, Virgo. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel as well as donating. And if this reading resonated with you, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps with growing the channel and getting the video out there for more people. If you would like a private reading, the link to my website along with all of my social media accounts is down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.